Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. In this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about outdoor events. So this is a follow up from my previous video that I did where I showed you guys an outdoor event that didn't necessarily go in the way that I had planned for it to go. So I'm just gonna walk you guys through my thoughts and some changes that I plan on making. These are just my thoughts based on that experience that I had last week because I'm really trying to avoid my backdrops falling over, right? Multiple times. <laughs> I wanna feel comfortable setting up my decorations and then leaving. I don't stay at events. I set up and then I leave. So now I have like this anxiety because I don't wanna leave my decorations just in case something happens. So that's the reason why I thought of these changes to make so that I feel more comfortable setting up outdoor events. So let's get started. So the first thing is, is that I don't think that I'm offering drapes to outdoor events anymore. As you can see in my last video, my drapes were just blowing all over the place. And I had a hard time trying to keep them in place. So for me, I just feel like drapes are for indoor events and then outdoor events will have different types of backdrops. The second thing that I learned is to add more weights to my backdrop stand. So I had 20 pound weights, well, two 20 pound weights, one on each side of the backdrop stand, and that clearly was not enough. So at a minimum, I'm definitely gonna make sure for outdoor events that I have at least 50 pounds on each side. So that's 100 pounds in total on my backdrop stand. One of the main takeaways that I have from last week's event where my backdrop just kept falling over and falling over and falling over due to the weather is having a plan B. So I'm not going into any outdoor event without a plan B. With my event last week, we were just hoping for the best, right? We were hoping for the best even in spite of the bad weather. So when clients are booking my decorations for an outdoor event, we're gonna do a plan A and a plan B within their budget, okay? So if there's wind or if there's rain, what are we gonna do? Another thing that I'm considering is for outdoor events, just doing balloons. So rather than having a balloon backdrop, you know, where I have to worry about the backdrop stand and securing it, I'm thinking about just doing balloon garlands. So like if I'm having an event at a park where there's a pavilion, I could do a balloon garland at the entrance and then maybe do a balloon garland behind my throne chair, right? Or behind wherever the client is gonna be sitting. So balloons are a little bit safer because you can secure it to something, right? You're attaching the balloon garland to a pole or to a roof or to something, right? So if it's windy, it's not gonna come and just blow the balloon garland over. So that's another thing that I'm thinking about is when I have a client that comes to me for outdoor events, the first thing that I'm gonna do is just offer them balloon decorations unless they insist on having a backdrop. Now, some clients are gonna insist on having a backdrop, right? Because they've seen something that's in your profile or they see something on Pinterest or Instagram and they're like, I want that for my event. So if they insist on having a backdrop, my go-to is gonna be my boxwood backdrop because I feel like I can secure that a little bit more. The boxwood panels are really heavy so you can't really see through them. So I can put a lot of weights in back of that backdrop to make sure that my backdrop stand stands firm, okay? But I can't necessarily do that with drapes. That's the reason why I said I'm not offering drapes outdoors because you could see right through them and I'm not gonna be able to put the weights and the things that I need to put behind the backdrop in order to secure it. So for me, my go-to is gonna be my boxwood backdrop and then I'm also looking into creating wooden backdrops that are more sturdy that I can use outdoors. When you're having events outdoors, you need heavier materials. So I'm definitely gonna be looking into creating some wooden backdrops that I can offer for outdoor events. Another thing that I'm gonna look into doing is anchoring that backdrop stand. So if it's gonna be really windy, you want that backdrop stand to be tied up against something. So I was looking last week around the pavilion and I'm like, what poles 
can I use to tie this backdrop stand to so that it won't keep falling over? But the thing was, is that I didn't have the materials to do that. I need to look into some rope or some sort of material that I can use to tie and anchor my backdrop stand to just in case it's gonna be really windy. So I'm definitely gonna be looking into that. I plan on spending some time at Home Depot and Lowe's to find materials that I can use when I need to anchor my backdrop stand. Here's another thing that I realized. I'm gonna have to do different types of balloon garland designs outdoors because I was completely confused. I'm like, why are my backdrops falling over now? When last year I did two outdoor events and I had no issues, no problems. And when I look back, I realized that I did a different type of balloon garland design than I'm doing now. So with my previous events, I did balloon garlands that were coming down the sides. There was nothing going across the top of the backdrop. But with these two recent events where I've had issues with my backdrop stand falling over, in both cases, the balloon garland went across the top and then came down the side. So it's like an upside down L shape. And then it made me realize that that top bar must not be supported, right? When you put balloons along the top of the backdrop, it becomes top heavy. So then when a wind comes by, even if it's a small wind, it can blow your backdrop over. So you want to have more of your weight at the bottom and along the sides because that's where the weights are at. So that's another thing that I realized is that I have to do a different design when I'm doing outdoor events. Now, let's talk about my throne chair because initially I was thinking I'm not renting my throne chair for any more outdoor events. <laughs> because now it has a crack in the top of it because it fell over at the baby shower. So initially I was thinking, nope, I'm not renting it anymore to outdoor events, but I already have it booked for an outdoor event. So what I'm thinking about doing is getting some bricks and maybe taping them around the bottom of the throne chair and back of course, so that the client doesn't see it in pictures. And what I'm hoping is that that keeps the throne chair from toppling over. So if the throne chair moves because of the wind, it's just gonna move forward or backwards. I'm trying to keep it from toppling over and then breaking along the top. And along with that, for my throne chairs, I'm actually thinking about charging an additional deposit for outdoor events. So that'll cover you know, any damages or anything to my throne chair. And then I also think clients will take it more seriously you know, when my throne chair is in their care because it's gonna be an additional fee to whereas if there's damage to my chair, then I keep their deposit. So the throne chair would have to be in the same condition when I go back to pick it up that it was when I dropped it off. I think I'm gonna add a $75 security deposit to my throne chair for outdoor events. So here's the last thing that I noticed is that when you're having an event outdoors and it's supposed to be windy, or let's say it may even rain a little bit, you want your decorations tucked in to somewhere. So if you're having it at a pavilion, you want your decorations tucked into the pavilion. You don't wanna do decorations that are right on the outside. And that's exactly what I did. My backdrop was right on the outside of the pavilion. And that's the reason why it knocked over. And my phone and my tripod didn't knock over because it was on the inside of the pavilion. It was tucked away. So if you notice that it's going to be windy or if the weather is going to be bad or if you just want to prepare for the worst, then create a design plan where the decorations are tucked in. Okay, Don't put them on the outskirts of the pavilion. Or if you're doing it, let's say, like at a house, right? You want to have it where it's tucked into the garage or it's tucked in maybe under the deck, right? You want it to be tucked in somewhere. So I'm definitely gonna be paying attention to that. I have another event that I'm gonna be decorating outdoors and I'm paying close attention to the weather already because if need be, I'm gonna rearrange the decorations so that they're not on the outskirts of the pavilion. All right, guys. So those are all of my lessons learned and some of the changes that I plan on making to my business. 
You know, it's so funny because as frustrated as I was last week, I feel like this was such a good learning experience and I'm so happy to be able to give you guys this information so that you could learn from me and hopefully avoid the same thing happening to you. Ever so often in business, you know, we look forward to our successes, but you know what? Failure teaches you so much quicker than success ever will. In order for you to be successful in your business, I feel like you need to be faithful and you also have to fail because if you don't fail, you don't learn, all right? So I feel like I'm still a little bit traumatized. <laughs> I'm still a little bit traumatized over my event last week. You know, whenever someone says, oh, I'm having an event outdoors, I feel like inside I kind of cringe a little bit. But at the end of the day, I'm glad I went through this experience so that I can make the necessary changes that I need to make to my decorations in order to have successful outdoor events, all right? I'm a huge believer that God does not put anything on us that we can't bear. So if there's something that we're experiencing, there's a lesson in it, right? He wants us to learn the lesson so that we can be successful. So if you guys are struggling with your outdoor events, just know that you're not alone. We're gonna get through this together. And with God, there's nothing that's impossible, right? So you could do it. I'm here with you. <laughs> we're learning together. All right, so if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I do have a few outdoor events coming up, so don't worry. I'm gonna be sharing with you all the changes that I'm making so that you can incorporate those changes into your business too. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.